Hello everyone, I am Shreyst, I scored 98 in class and boards the previous year. Now, I am on a mission to help you all cook your academics. Welcome to this channel. In my previous video, I told you how you can ace your half year D's by giving you some general tips for that is that are, will be applicable for all the subjects. In that video, I promised you that I will give you subject specific videos for half year D's. In those videos, we will cover which questions will come in your half year D's. Yes which questions exact the questions exact questions which will come in your half year D's and then what will the pattern of your half year D's the blueprint of your half year D's and in which sequence you have to attempt the paper of your half year D's and some basic presentation tips that are very important to score full in your any subject either in your boards or half year D's or in any other exam so this video is for maths in this video we will cover how all these things for math subject now let's start the video now let's decode the blueprint of your half yearly paper of maths first of all there will be 20 mcqs then you will have five two marker questions also known as short answer questions then you will have six three marker questions also known as medium answer questions then for long answer questions which carry four mark five marks each sorry there will be four long answer questions and finally you will have three case based questions carrying four marks each then in which sequence you have to attempt the paper first of all you have you should do two mark questions then three marker then five marker then case based questions and at last mcqs why am i saying so is because if you study in a standard school decent school or any average school you will have a tough half year level or not tough half year level medium level paper and in that paper mcqs will be typically tough they will be tricky mcqs and if you start at, to attempt the paper by the mcqs you will waste a lot of time attempting those mcqs solving those mcqs so i suggest you to solve those mcqs at last of your paper at the end of your paper this will help you spend more time in subjective questions in those questions which you have in which you have to actually write in mcqs you have to just take the option but for subjective questions you have to explain the examiner how you do they how you did this how you did the another step in this way you have to explain each and every step of your answer so in subjective questions you are bound to spend time so why waste time on objective mcqs so solve the mcqs at the end time of your paper and this has extra benefit if you are unable to if you don't have time solve to solve the mcqs you can just uh, guess the answer random answers write a b c d you will get some marks but you cannot do so in case you attempt the mcqs first and then you have to leave the long answer questions but if you attempt the long answer question subjective questions first then for objectives you can just guess any answer and write it is so it's my personal opinion don't just you can follow any other strategy now let's do a deep analysis of the chapters which will come in your half yearly exams we will decode each and every chapter how will we do so we will cover which questions will come from your chapter exactly which questions will come then what type of mcqs will come what type of subjective questions will come everything and some basic tips for each chapter now let's do so first of all starting with real numbers for the mcqs of the chapter real number you will surely 110 percent get to see the lcm and hcr based mcqs they can be of two types first of all two or three expression or terms are given you will be asked to find the lcm and hcf of those two terms or expressions or the second type of question you will get on this formula hcf into lcm will give the product of the two numbers you can get to see questions based on this formulas in the second type of mcqs from the chapter real numbers then if a three marker generally three markers are asked from the chapter real numbers in that you will 98 percent chances are there that you will see this question prove that root 3 root 5 or root 7 is an irrational number or in case if you don't get this question you will get a two mark question in that two mark question you will ask either to prove that 
6 to the power n or 4 to the power n can never end with the number 0 or you can be asked to prove that the given number is composite number it will be shown on the screen these type of questions are given in your NCERT the same question from the NCERT will be copy pasted in your half yearly paper I can say that from experience now moving on to the chapter polynomials for the MCQs of polynomials you can get to see this type of question and any expression will be given and you will have to find k the constant k it will be put somewhere in the equation or the expression you will have to use the formula alpha by alpha plus beta will give minus b by a or alpha into beta will give c by a this type of formulas you have to use in mcqs of polynomials and then generally two or three mark questions generally three mark questions are asked from the chapter polynomials and there are two type of questions first type of question in which they give you a polynomial and then ask you what are the zeros of this polynomial and verify the relationship between the coefficient and the zeros of the polynomial you can you should practice these type of questions and the second type of question that comes is that alpha and beta are the zeros of the polynomial given and you have to find a polynomial you have to frame a polynomial whose zeros are 1 by alpha and 1 by beta or any other such type of thing now moving on to the chapter linear equations from this chapter of linear equation you will surely see 110 percent see an mcq based on this concept key uh, unique solutions no solutions infinitely many solutions like this type of questions in which you have to use the formula a1 by b2 a1 by a2 b1 by b2 c1 by c2 as given in your ncrt and you can get two mark questions three mark questions or five mark questions any type of question from this chapter as this is a very versatile chapter linear equation and two variables for two mark questions you will give you will be given some simple equation you have to solve it for three mark questions i have huge expectations of this chapter to uh, for three mark questions to be appeared in your exams from this chapter for three mark questions you will there is a great chance of graphical solution you will be given a pair of equations and you will so you will have to solve that question using graphical method graph paper, graph paper will be provided in your school during your exams that have that type of question you should practice that type of graphical solution question there is a huge chance for coming up those type of questions in your exam or in case if you don't get those type of questions you can get that question in which a pair of linear equations and given is given and you have to just solve by any of by any method you know that type of question and for five mark question you can get problems that are given in your ncert the most probable ones are the are either the number interchange the digit interchange problems or the currency type of problems there are notes of 50 100 and 500 in the bank like this type of problem word problem or there is an example in your ncrt there is a monthly income ratio for which the, an the answer to that example is 20000 i still remember that example that type of questions that type of important questions i have made a pdf of for each chapter that will come in your half yearly exam the link is in the description box for my telegram channel i will upload all that in my telegram channel make sure you join the channel as those questions are very important for your half yearly point of view or board's point of view for the chapter quadratic equations you can see mcqs from this topic of discriminant you will have to find the discriminant or the roots like that type of mcqs and there is a huge chance that a five mark question comes from this chapter in your half yearly exams huge huge possibility the three type of questions that get framed for five mark questions from this chapter are first of all the boat upstream downstream problem and then the aircraft delay flight distance this type of problem and then the train distance speed problem all these three type of word problems are based on one single formula and that is speed is equals to distance by time please remember this formula and i have attached all these three type of three type of questions in my the most important uh, questions for half yearlies make sure to join my telegram channel i know i have said it again and again and again but trust me it will benefit you
Next, we have the chapter Arithmetic Progressions, that is AP. From this chapter, there is a huge possibility that you get a case study from the optional exercise that is given in, it in CRT. You can get MCQs directly, formula based MCQs, or you can get three marker or two marker problems that will that is given in your NCERT only the chapter AP will be directly from the NCERT or one or two type of questions will be there which are out of NCERT and those questions are PQ based questions that question is very interesting I have attached it again I have attached it in my most important questions video and next we have the chapter trigonometry the MCQs of trigonometry will be tricky for example sec theta plus tan theta is equals to p then what is the value of sec theta minus tan theta this type of questions and there is a general tip for these type of questions please note it first of all cosec theta minus cot theta if it is given that it is p then cosec theta plus cot theta will be 1 by p and if sec theta plus tan theta is given p then sec theta minus tan theta will be 1 by p noted and yes all of the questions that will come from this chapter of trigonometry will be purely based on ncert the subjective questions will which will come in your half yearly exams they will be ncert based only or directly from ncert then next we have the chapter uh, triangles in this type of, in triangles you have two mark questions or three mark questions will be directly from ncert and for five mark question there is a huge possibility huge huge possibility that you will get the question state and proof ppt basic proportionality theorem in one thing to note in this type of problem is that question is that you have to also state the theorem you have to write the theorem in language i have tried to cover each and every chapter that are most common to each student's half yearly portion and trust me the 70 to 80 percent paper of your half yearly will be ncert based 100 percent ncert based questions will be there from 70 to 80 percent paper and the rest 30 percent paper will be some type of competency based the mcqs will be tricky i again want to alert you and there will be tough questions also one to two tough questions only and for those one to two tough questions you have to practice rs or rd i would I have a very great tip for you all. Practice or solve only the examples of NCA of R S Agrawal or R D Sharma, as the examples cover a wide range of questions. They cover all the type of questions. Hard, difficult. There are many types of difficult questions. So you get the approach how to handle the difficult questions by solving the examples of R S or R D. And then the next step we have is read the question twice. Check the units always, always check the units in your answer and match it with the question. These are the two tips that you have to keep in your mind to avoid silly mistakes. And trust me, silly mistakes cost you those 1 to 2 or 3 to 4 marks, which are quite annoying. A topper can easily relate to this thing because those 3 to 4 marks are the marks which separates him from achieving that first rank and thus he lands to the second or third rank by doing those silly mistakes so read the question twice and check those unit conversions also see you have to present your answers in a very soothing manner what differentiates scholar from a topper is that a scholar presents his answers in a soothing in a very classy manner whereas a topper just writes his paper he just writes he does not present he just writes the answer in my next video i will tell you how to present your answers of maths that will be that video will just come very shortly don't worry that's it for the video subscribe this channel like the video share this to any friend who you truly want to top in exam not top or just ace your exams that's it for the video till then stay connected stay hard bye